Ukraine has confirmed the use of a Western-made long-range missile system to strike Russian targets in the Kursk region. That is from Reuters. Yeah, international correspondent Megumi Lim has more from Kyiv. That's right. This was the first time Ukraine confirmed, officially confirmed, uh, that uh, its forces used U.S.-supplied HIMARS to strike and destroy Russian pontoon bridges inside Russia's Kursk region. Now, uh, this is not a long-range weapon, so I believe this is within U.S. policy or recently changed U.S. policy, which now allows Kiev to use some of uh, U.S.-supplied weapons to strike at military targets inside Russia as long as it's close to the border with Ukraine and as long as it's part of a defensive operation and so far we have not seen any major retaliation from the Russian side and in fact we have been seeing uh, sort of concerns easing on the part of uh, Kiev's Western allies. Uh, we've, we've seen already evidence of uh, Western supplied tanks and vehicles rolling into Russia as part of Ukraine's Kursk operation, and we've not seen any ramifications or major uh, retaliation from the Russian side uh, so far. And President Zelensky, uh, emboldened by this, uh, recently called the Kremlin's red lines a bluff. He said, uh, that the threats of retaliation and the threats of escalation that has so far come from President Putin uh, are all a bluff. And he, President Zelensky is still trying to convince the Western leaders to lift uh, restrictions on the use of long-range weapons uh, to strike at military targets deeper inside Russia. Now. So far, we've not seen any major retaliation, indeed, but uh, the U.S. Embassy today uh, issued a warning to residents uh, living here in Kiev uh, that the U.S. has information that Russia may be planning to step up its drone and missile attacks over the weekend when Ukraine marks its 33 years of independence. And the U.S. Embassy uh, has warned residents and has advised residents to identify nearby bomb shelters and to also immediately seek shelter if and when an air raid alert is issued. So indeed we may be seeing some kind of retaliation from the Russian side over this weekend.